Hey guys, welcome back to another Exotic Car Hacks video. Today we are going to look at the five exotics you can buy under 30K, that's right. You know, a, a lot of, I've been watching a lot of other people on YouTube talking about buying salvage exotics, repairing them, buying piece of shit cars and putting money into them. And it's just a really bad idea. If you understand the exotic car world like I do and you start understanding how values work and how money works, something that many of them telling you to buy 20K broken exotics really don't seem to understand, you need to be paying attention uh, to what I'm about to tell you because you too could own a really good clean exotic uh, around or under 30k as your first exotic and you don't have to venture in the 100k mark or in the Gallardos and the R8s and the expensive 60, 100, 150k cars but could be driving cars around the 30k mark and they make remarkable exotics. Now I'm going to focus on exotic marquees so there's a lot of cars that fall into this like AMGs and Empowers but we're not going to talk about those today. We're going to talk about only exotic cars that could be really good cars to be uh, hacking especially as first uh, entry exotics. Now, it's important to understand hacking. So if for any reason you don't know what I'm talking about or this is your first time to the channel, please make sure to subscribe before I go into this list and go back uh, and look at my free training, which is in the link, uh, is a link in the bio here. So you can actually understand what I'm talking about when I say car hacking. And then you can come back to this video and see these really fine uh, examples that could be used as first hacks. So what are some of the best real non-salvage, non-broken down exotics, you should be looking down as first hacks around the 30K mark. Starting with the first one, the Maserati uh, Quattroporte. Now I'm a big believer that the Maserati Quattroporte is still by far one of the best exotics on the market. Now, when I say that, I'm not referring to the new Quattroporte, which will be not only significantly more expensive, but a Chrysler-based product that will break down a lot. Instead, I'm referring to the Maserati Quattroporte from 20, 2009 to 2013. An incredible car still built by Ferrari with incredible design and incredible reliability. Now, it is by far, in my opinion, the best Quattroporte ever built and really the true last Quattroporte ever built and a car to seriously consider if you're trying to buy. Now you could find these cars as little as 25k all the way up to 35 to 40k. I recommend focusing primarily on the market that is 2011 to 2013 for right around 30k. I think that has been the best balance of new and old with the least amount of problems. Now please stay cautious to not buy a car that is two, from 2004 all the way up to 2008. You're looking for the second generation Quattroporte, not the first or the last. So keep that in mind if you're going there. The second car that I think uh, makes a really good first hack is the 911. Notorious for being an incredible car and honestly not having to go back that far. You could buy either a 996 Turbo or a 997 Carrera S for as little as 30 to 35 grand. Now some key pointers, make sure you find a six speed. Make sure you're not buying a car with extremely high miles. You could find these cars with as little as 30 to 35,000 miles, well maintained without accidents or any major paintwork for values as low as 35K or below. Now, the 911 is extremely reliable and an incredible platform with a lot of followership, meaning that it should be very easy to get in and out of within a very reasonable amount of time because it's an avid following. And if you like mods, it's also very affordable to mod and an incredible fun toy to throw around, especially with a six-speed transmission. Now, next is the Bentley GT. Uh, the Bentley GT, which is also better known as the fake millionaire car, uh, if you watch my other video, is also an incredible first hack. Now, you definitely don't want to be buying a 2004 or 2005, but if you are paying attention to the market, you could be buying a very affordable uh, 2008 to 2009 in the high 30s. Now, I know it sounds crazy, especially when you're looking at values uh, and you're looking on your computer and you only see 60 to $80,000 there. And that's partly because you don't understand my hacks methodology. You're just looking at asking prices. Now, if you learn to hack, then you can buy these cars in the high 30s, low 40s, and they can be really good cars to own. Keep in mind, however, with some of the Bentley GTs, you're going to need more money to put aside for repairs because those cars have older technologies and tend to break down. Uh, one of my next all-time favorite cars for a first hack is the Aston Martin Vantage. The Aston Martin Vantage came out originally in 2006 and in 2007 uh, having its best first year. Now 2007s can be bought for as low as 35k in incredibly good shape with six-speed transmissions 
and the new fully updated interior of 07 versus the 06. Now please be cautious not to buy a car that has an automatic transmission or what you call an e-geared or sport shift transmission because they tend to go bad and are quite expensive to fix. On the other hand though, a great six-speed transmission, a 2007 year with adequate miles under 30,000 will still net you somewhere in the mid 30s. Now that's a lot of car considering that that car new was 140,000 and is primarily built off of Jaguar and Ford components make it very easy easy and cheap to fix. So definitely one of our favorites when it comes to first hacks. Now next uh, is what I consider to be a decent car for a hack but again a car that you're going to have to be more selective in choosing. The Maserati Gran Turismo. Now the Maserati Gran Turismo is one of my uh, one of my uh, most asked about cars because the car hasn't really changed since 2008. Outside of some body tweaks and, and basically better headlights, the core of the body from the surface seems to look uh, oddly the same. Partly because uh, Maserati does a really good job at keeping its chassis alive, especially for its most popular product. But the Gran Turismo in 2008 can be bought for as little as $30,000. Now, that includes finding a mint shape one. If you are looking for a better car to hack when it comes to an entry-level Maserati Gran Turismo, focus on the 2009 with the F1 transmission. Most of them are asking in the 50s but can be bought in the mid 30s. That was a pretty iconic car, especially if you can get a good color combo like black on red, you'd be able to easily sell that car for exactly what you paid. At the very least, you'd be able to get into it in the mid 30s and it would be probably the better bet of the early Gran Turismo and the one that is gonna earn you the most respect. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this list and uh, you too will be hacking your very first exotic soon, especially if it starts with something like this. Please don't fall victim to buying cheap exotics that have been run down, need repairs, uh, or ultimately have been in accidents. I know a lot of people recommend them for cheap cars to impress your friends, but I can guarantee you there will be more problems than you need. And so focusing on getting a great hack is a better bet than buying someone else's garbage. So guys, figure that out, click the link, get the training if you haven't really figured out how to do this yet. It's completely free. And at the very least, like this video and subscribe to the channel to hear me rant more and make fun of other people that own exotic cars. So guys, I'll catch you on the next one. And thanks again for watching Exotic Car Hacks.